Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gara Benton and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video I am going to be showing off the best number 86 combo because it involves my boys, Six Samurais. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. And before we get started with the video, I just want to say I have created a Discord for all of us to join and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. The link is in the description box below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. And so this is a three card combo to make number 86 with six samurais. And the good thing about six samurais is that when creating, doing these three card combos, it's actually not that hard to do because there are so many extenders in the deck and you don't even need these three specific cards. This is the easiest way to do it. But there's ways to draw into the cards you need. You can go into Saryuja and do a bunch of other stuff that you need. But I'm going to be showing off the combo with these three cards. So basically, all you need to start off the combo is two warriors that you can summon. So whether that be a Junk Forward, a Six Samurai, or whether that be um, just Mizo Shinai. Um, obviously, it's best to do Kageki and Kizaru because Kizaru searches. It makes it so much easier. But, yeah, and then this combo will also change when the Six Samurai Link Monster comes out in the TCG. But without further ado, let's start off with the combo. So the first thing we're going to do for the combo is we're going to play Sheen's Dojo. What Sheen's Dojo does is every time a Six Samurai Monster is summoned, you put a counter on it, and then you can destroy it to special summon a Six Samurai Monster with a level equal to or lower than the amount of counters on it. Next, we're going to normal summon Kageki. So Sheen's Dojo gives one counter. Kageki's effect lets a special summon... A six samurai from our hand, so we're going to special summon Kazaru, which gives us a second counter on Sheen's Dojo. Kazaru's effect lets me search for a six samurai for an attribute that I do not control, and so we're going to search for a Mizo, which will add it to our hand. And guys, the deck profile for this deck will be coming soon. I'm waiting for three uh, spell strikers to come in, and then I will do a full deck profile for this deck. But then from here, we have one Mizo in our hand. We are going to go into Azold. It doesn't matter which zone you place Azold into. You just need to make sure to place to have Azold. And I gotta move my camera so I can, it's in the frame. And then Azold's first effect to search for a warrior. You do not have to activate this effect if you're worried about, like, you know, your opponent plays Ghost Ogre or something like that. You do not have to activate the first effect. I generally will, so I can have something for a follow-up play. I'm going to add Great Shogun Sheen from my deck to my hand. So now we have a Mizo and a Great Shogun Sheen, which I'm just going to put my hand right here. And then Azold's second effect to send equip spells and so we play four equip cells. We play Living Fossil, Cursed Bamboo Sword, then Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, and Moon Mirror Shield, which will special us a Kizaru. Now, Kizaru's effect, we're going to chain with Cursed Bamboo for Kizaru Chain Link 1, Cursed Bamboo Chain Link 2. And Cursed Bamboo, we're going to add a Golden Bamboo Sword to our hand. And Kizaru. We are going to add a Fuma to our hand. Whoops. Wherever Fuma may be. And then we get a third counter onto our Sheen's Dojo. And then we are going to use Sheen's Dojo to destroy it to special summon a level 3. We're going to special summon... Shine Eye to this zone specifically. Next, we are going to go into Summon Sorceress and then activate Summon Sorceress effect to special a Fuma to our opponent's side of the field. This is super important that you search the Fuma, um, or if you already have the Fuma in your hand, you can search like another Mii zone to make the combo that much better. But now. We're going to activate Summon Sorcerer's Effect to special a level 4. And I generally like to special summon Kazaru because Kazaru doesn't really have a purpose once the combo is finished. 
because from there we have if you draw Kizon, Kizons are really good. And so once you have Kizaru, then you're going to special summon Mizo. Mizo's effect lets you tribute a Shine Eye to destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. And we'll put our graveyard over here so it's more visible. And then Fuma and Shine Eye's effects are going to activate. Shine Eye allows us to add a Six Samurai back to our hand, and we're going to add a Kageki. And then Fuma will let us special summon a Six Samurai from our deck, and we're going to special summon our Six Samurai Hatsume. Hatsume's effect will then let us banish two Six Samurai monsters from the, from the grave or field. So we're going to banish a Kizaru and a Shinai to then special summon another Kizaru. This Kizaru's effect will let us add a Six Samurai, and this is why I play Legendary Six Samurai in Nishi, because Nishi will let us next turn set up. We have a Kageki in hand, and then Nishi will let us, if we need to, send a monster back to the to our opponent's hand. And then from here, we have two level fours, two level threes. So we're going to go into Gossip Shadow. And then we're going to go into Ragamidiad. And Gossip Shadow's effect, we're going to combine with Ragamidiad. And so now we have a number 86 with five materials on it. We get to nuke our opponent's board if, if we went second. And then th during their turn, their next two turns, they cannot normal or special summon monsters. This is also unaffected by spell and trap cards. And so our ending board is we have Summon Sorceress, Ragamidiad, and then we have Gold Bamboo, Great Shogun Shin, Kageki, and Nishi. So next turn, they can't normal or special summon monsters. So what we can do is, obviously they can't play, so they maybe set a back row and then we will normal Kageki, special Anishi, special Great Shogun Shin, and then Anishi's at 22, Kageki's at 17, 25, 3000, 24. That is game. And so this is my favorite combo to bring out uh, number 86. I know I like, um, well, with the Dark Warrior deck, it is pretty good, but I prefer Six Samurais because they're so much fun. And then playing a couple extenders like Spell Striker or uh, this guy, the Phantom Knights of Shade, of Shade Brigad, however you say that last part. Um, playing those cards make this combo so much better, so much more consistent. And yeah, but that is going to be it for this combo video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and make sure to check out my Discord link in the description box below. It posts when I get my when I upload new videos, and then it also will let us discuss more about Yu-Gi-Oh! and let, let give you guys a direct way to contact me about what videos you guys want me to see other than the comment section below, which I do respond and appreciate every comment in the comment section but that's gonna be it guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace out